Hello everybody, Smith here. Welcome back to some more BD Armory. And in case you're wondering, yeah, we'll um we'll get onto this monstrosity in a second. But today we are taking a look at drones. Uh the last BD Armory video I uh, showed you the Vortex, my AS ASCU drone I'd created. Uh but today there's I just want to have a bit more of a mess about with uh, with drones in general, and there's another little experiment I want to do um, to test uh, an aspect of BD Armory AI, so I just thought I'd roll it all into one video. Uh, now what I've done here is sort of inspired by sort of uh, sixth generation fighters, which will sort of just uh, be a manned fighter, supposedly a manned fighter, sort of, and a little... Um, a little squadron of drones? I'm about to say flock of drones. I don't think that's the right word. Uh, never mind. So what I've done is basically to take one of my Red Hawks and just attach two of uh, two of my two of my Vortex drones to the wings, which, yeah, isn't... <laughs> the Vortex drones aren't as suited to this job as I thought they might be when I first dreamt this up, but uh, never mind. We'll, uh, we'll persevere. We'll just go for a little test run with this. Um, see how it flies let's uh turn on the uh turn on stability assist which also turns on the engines which i wasn't expecting turn on the afterburners let's see uh let's see what this thing can do not too slow off the mark it has turned to the side a little bit um uh, now i was expecting this to be a little bit um let's get the gear up a little bit sluggish in the turns and what have you but then i realized that yeah, this thing's got a lot of wing area. <laughs> it's very sluggish in the roll, but uh, I think the first thing we need to do is just sort of take it up to uh, altitude and test to see if I have actually set these uh, drones up to release correctly. Let's uh, turn off those afterburners. Uh, are we all looking straight and level? Yeah, we'll get up to about a thousand, then we'll release these, uh, release the drones and see if uh, see if they fly. See if we can get ourselves. An instant squadron to protect us from any uh, potential attackers. Here we go. Um, I, I, I don't think. Is that the battery and drone core? I don't think I've attached these to the wings properly. <laughs> I think I. Hmm. Okay. So this requires some. <laughs> There's some creases that need ironing out. I'll uh, I'll be back with you in a second. Jesus, that took a while, but uh, I think it's all sorted now. It was one of those classic things. If you fix one problem, another one pops up. Um, yeah, welcome to Kerbal Space Program. But if I now press uh, six, I think I had the hotkey set to. Yeah, we all uh, we all fly apart. Our rogue go our own separate ways. Independent vessels. I think the main problem was to do with the fact I was using decouplers rather than separators. Here, I don't know why that's a problem. And then the autopilot wasn't controlling them correctly, and then, for some reason, this craft's autopilot and one of the drones was fused. It's all sorted now. I mean, it was a lot of effort given that I'm now going to go and design an entirely different drone that looks a bit more suitable strapped to the wings of one of my craft, but, um, well, there we go. Uh, at least I know what to expect now. Um, anyway, I should probably stop blabbering on and, uh, yeah, let's go see what we can cook ourselves up in the space plane hangar. Okay, this is probably a little bit more like it. Um... <laughs> A little bit more like it. I've replaced the uh, Vortexes um, with two of these new drones I've just had to come up. These are the Flux drones. They haven't really had a decent combat test, so they might not be that effective. But we're going to uh, we're going to see because these are about forty parts each, so it means that this craft, my kind of drone carrying variant of, variant of the Red Hawk, is about as many parts as two traditional Red Hawks. So I'm going to see if this does provide you with a like a part for part advantage. So I'll yeah, it's going to be a bit complicated to set this up, but I'll I'll take these off, get this set up, and I'll uh, I'll see you again in a second. Okay, so I'm going to wait until these two sets of craft are about ten kilometers away. Then I'm going to switch the team on this Red Hawk, and we'll just see what chaos ensues. So, there. And, oop. Crap, need to release these. Put guard mode on for everybody. Yeah, that was a bit chaotic, but I think we, uh, I think we got there in the end. Missiles going flying back and forth. I think all these craft are capable of dodging those sufficiently well. As I said, the, um... The drones really have not had a decent combat test. I've not had a lot of time for this video, what with the screaming baby and all. We're kind of getting into Sidewinder uh, range now, though, and that, um, 
that's sort of when things get interesting. Jebediah Kerman continuing to follow uh, following one of these more traditional Red Hawks in. And it looks like, yeah, the drones also trying to uh, put guns... Oh, that was a joust. That was close. How are the probes getting on? Coming around. It looks like they have uh, they have launched all their missiles. So apart from guns and providing a distraction to the uh, the other Red Hawks, uh, yeah, not going to be uh, not going to be as as powerful in combat. Kind of got guns away there though. Oh, one of them is dead. One of them is dead already. This might not turn out as I'd hoped. Comes around, tries to line up a shot, can't quite do so. Everybody's lost their missiles. Oh, Ghosty Kerman's craft taking a bit of a hit there. Yeah, everyone, everyone pretty much fired all. The nope, Ghosty does have a sidewinder left, but <laughs> yeah, we're very much into the close combat now. How's our probe getting on? Comes around. Not quite as manoeuvrable as I'd uh, expect, but it still can um, line up a shot. Not quite managing it at the moment, though. How's Jebediah getting on? Jebediah kind of needs to make the um, make those probes count. I mean, he's already failed to make one of them count, so this is uh, maybe not looking as good for Jebediah as I thought it might. The drone taking a bit of a hit there. Still seems to be, yeah, seems to, still seems to have all its um, all its vital bits though. The other thing is these do not have a lot of fuel in them, so as I say, it might buy you some time, but not a hell of a lot of it. Comes around, does manage to get some guns away. What is that? That is the F1D. The F1D heavily damaged, lost both air intakes, and it is all over for Jebediah Kerman. And um, looking at the fuel situation, also for his drone counterpart, there goes the fuel. Here come the guns. Oh dear. Okay, so... <laughs> some vaguely sensible looking drones... Oh, okay. Some vaguely sensible looking drones might not get you the win, but as I said, it might buy you a bit of time. Um, let's see uh, Let's see if we can put that to some use, actually. Okay, so fight assistance from, uh, from two largely untested and unrefined drones isn't that useful. Who'd have thought it? But as I said, um, it does seem to buy you a bit of time, so... I thought I'd take one of my C-130s, and we're not going to bother with the Flux drones anymore. We're going to go for something a little bit more tried and tested in my Vortex drones. I'm going to set up a little scenario. I'm going to see if I can enter hostile space and make it across again in my C-130 with the assistance of these Vortex drones, and of course providing the hostile airspace will be uh, Ion and Legadlat Kerman. In the, uh, in the traditional Red Hawks. So, once again, this is going to take a bit of setting up, so once again, I'll see you in a second. Okay, so once again, we're going to wait until we're about 10 kilometers away. Let's turn the guard mode on there, and then just let chaos ensue, and hopefully we'll, uh, we'll make it across without uh, any major losses. Okay, ready to switch teams, and... Oh, they're actually faster than me, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, that's going to be an issue. Just wait for it. Shouldn't be long. And... There we go. So I am just going to start... Popping countermeasures on this thing here to try and get away from anything the um, Red Hawks might be sending after me, and we will just let the uh, the drones do their stuff for a second. Are those missiles coming after me? No, those were missiles going the other way. Okay, let's try and set a vaguely sensible rate. Just get this pointed in the right direction. Uh, I will put... Oh! 
one of the probes is already gone. Well, that is not good news. Can I make it? Uh, can I make it out the other side alive? I honestly thought these drones would do. Oh crap! Missiles incoming! Missiles incoming! Okay, so that wasn't too successful either. Um, I thought the Vortex drones would really be able to just... <laughs> just be able to absolutely just rip these uh, rip these Red Hawks apart, but apparently not. Um, <laughs> this is not going as well as I thought it would. Still a chance for the uh, Vortex drone to, uh, to save itself, though. Oh, my poor C-130. Gunfire coming in, getting scorched. Went in for a joust, actually. Come on, come on, let's see what you can do. Popping plenty of countermeasures. Still has a couple of sidewinders of its own, actually. But getting scorched, continually losing. Uh, I don't think it's lost too many bits at the moment. I can't see any major damage. But the gunfire continues to come in, it's two on one. Poor C-130. Come on, turn around. Let's see you... <laughs> Come on, let's see you rip apart these, uh, these, these Red Hawks. It really would be... <laughs> I want to see this work at least once. Oh dear. No. Okay. Right. Yeah. As I said, I'm determined to see this work, and there's 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 one kind of thing left we can try. As I said, we're not giving up on this idea yet. Uh, so here, once again, we have my Red Hawk, because basically it's my standard heavy-ish uh, air superiority fighter, so I think it's kind of suitable. But what happens if your air superiority fighter comes up against some pretty mean-looking ground defences? What are you going to do then? Well, maybe if you've got a couple of uh, these flux drones, not just the uh, flux drones we used last time, but this time set up for uh, for air to uh, surface to uh, no air to ground combat. Huh? How about that? God, I hope this works better than last time. Um, I'll get this uh, this taken off. I'll get this whole thing set up, and we'll um, yeah, I'll see you again in a second. Okay, similar to our previous fights, we're just going to get within 10 kilometers and then loose the drones and see what they can do. Okay, there we go. Let's see what these guys are going to do. Oh, guard mode might be handy. We'll get the Red Hawk involved as well, see what, uh, see what that can do. There goes a hail of Hellfire missiles. And another volley as well. They're supposed to be set up for one missile per target. That's that's not good news. All of the guns are coming in towards all the missiles. Yeah, they're all going in towards the gun unit. And here comes the gunfire as well. Okay, that's that's pretty much taken care of that. The probes have anything left? No, they've just piled everything into the um, the gun unit, the missile unit. Still not doing anything. Hmm. The Red Hawk, yeah, everybody just um getting ready for another attack run this time on the missile unit. Do you want you might want to wake up? You might want to wake up there. You're not gonna be alive much longer if you don't. Come on, here comes the gunfire. There's a lot of it. Have I set those guns up correctly? Yeah, I think, I think, yeah, we'll call that a bug and we'll just, um, yeah, we'll just have to call it quits there. Uh, and I'm going to claim that as a victory. I don't care what anyone else says, that, that kind of worked. I still don't know how you get, um, get the AI to, I tried to get it so that it would, um, it would target separate craft. I've tried to figure out, at least it's not as bad as in previous versions where everything would just... I need to set up those guns on those drones a bit better, don't I? 
in previous versions where the uh, the AI just was not very good at um, not very good at ground combat at all. So yeah, an improvement there, but uh, still very much not perfect. Anyway, that will be all for today. <laughs> a series of <laughs> a series of half failed attempts. I'm very sorry for all that, but hopefully you've enjoyed it. And if you have, please consider uh, giving this video a like. Um, uh, maybe even subscribing if you feel like it and you haven't already. Um, yeah, uh, there's also the Twitter, the Discord, if you fancy it. If you want to support the channel, there's uh, links to the PayPal and the Patreon in the description as well. I will be back soon with some more um, with some more BD Armoury, hopefully to better effect. Uh, but until then, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you next time.